Ashes of Creation just took a page from the New World playbook with their gathering systems. We just saw in the October livestream that this system has had some big changes from what we saw in Alpha 1. When you set out to gather resources in Ashes of Creation, you will now be able to chop down any tree and mine almost any rock in the world. This was a smart move on Intrepid's part as New World, for all of its flaws, has a kick-ass gathering system. But this isn't just Intrepid copying New World by any means. They are taking something that worked well in another MMORPG and applying it with their own improvements and twists to make it fit into the world of Vera. When you chop down one of these beautiful trees, several things will happen. First, you use an axe so sharp that it cuts the tree like a sword, perfectly slicing it in a straight line all the way across, causing the tree to fall. Second, the tree falls and depending on the season, it has a cool effect. The branches don't just clip through the world and disappear. It falls, it hits the ground, it bounces a bit, kicks up dust or snow depending on the season, giving some pretty cool immersive visuals. And then it disappears. These trees don't have to be taken out by an axe though either. There are world bosses that can knock down the trees as they roam, leaving you to hunt them by following the destruction they have left behind. And once the tree is knocked down and despawned, a new one will begin to grow in its place. The visual we saw of the trees regrowing is sped up for stream purposes and it will have a much slower growth in the final version of the game. How long the respawn on this actually takes to get to a point where it's harvestable is a bit complex. It really depends on the player's interactions with the world. Players have control of the resources in a way, as a high volume of players could slow down the growth as you call the land of all its natural resources. But things such as crop rotation, removing poachers from the area, or grouping up to harvest an invasive species of plant can be good for land management, causing areas to flourish with resources. This design has a huge impact on the economy because too much poor health for parts of the land may cause players to rely more heavily on trade and even import goods from other nodes with caravans, which may cause the prices to rise. Now, obviously, all of this is work in progress. Even though we're heading into Alpha 2 and it looks good, it's not the final version. There are still visual effects missing. Hopefully, that tree doesn't look so perfectly cut when it finally happens but you know it's not the biggest issue in the world i could live with it it just looked kind of funny to me hitting it with an axe and then having a perfectly cut tree but anyways now just because the world is now filled with gatherables all over the place doesn't mean there won't be rare resources the ones you see in the world right now in this stream are like your basic woods and ores that will be used as a foundational material for crafting which can be used to create stronger mats for stronger gear but initially you won't know what you are getting from that rock node on the ground until you craft crack it open to see what is on the inside. But there are ways around this. There is a cool gathering feature called surveying, which has you place a tool on the ground to uncover and research certain areas. This can be upgraded to expand the zone you're researching or change up the shape of the zone with the placement of pylons. Surveying will allow you to learn more about the resources in that area and help you identify rare materials within this area. It can also uncover hidden resources that could not be seen by those who haven't surveyed the land and even give you crop information such as which seasons they spawn in and what you can do to improve the crop's health for a better harvest. We even saw some flowers that only spawn in the winter time in the preview of the harvest, which is something you may pick up on when surveying so you don't go searching for the same thing in the spring. Intrepid wants players to use the tools to learn more about the land and really plan out their next adventure. While some of the basic resources will be more static and always respawn in the same spots, there will also be lots of random spawns in the world. So that gold ore that you may have found in one spot at at one point could potentially be in a different spot next time. Profession progression will also allow for ways to improve your gathering. You can unlock new tools that help you gather more. You could improve your gathering speed, allowing you to pick up resources faster, access earlier growth stages for harvesting when those trees and plants are growing back, and even get more from a harvest when you chop down that tree. But the coolest thing that I think you will be able to unlock is group gathering activities. The example Intrepid Gabe was talking about a two-handed saw which could be used to cut down much larger trees, really putting some socialization back into MMORPGs. The change to the world being filled with gatherables is great and I personally love having every tree be choppable and every rock be mineable along with apples on bushes instead of trees. Because why not? It makes the world feel more immersive and if you watched my last video about the gathering tees, this is exactly what I was hoping they would announce. Because New World's Gathering did it right. It pulled you straight into the immersion of it with the harvesting sounds and the visual effects and now Intrepid is putting their own spin on that which works for the game they are building. Which I think is going to be 
be very popular among the players. When you can only master one of the three artisan trees, being gathering, processing, and crafting, they need to get gathering more on par with the other two, because unfortunately, running around and mining isn't exactly the most fun at times compared to building armor and crafting weapons. Not knowing what you are going to find when you set out crafting, I also think is a welcome change. This isn't something that would work in every MMO, but the economy is a huge part in Ashes, and this really adds to how it will play out. Not only that, but I think it'll help alleviate resource camping at times, although not fixing it completely because with surveying, you'll eventually learn where and when the good stuff shows up, but it'll make those resources much more rare having them hidden. What are your thoughts on the gathering updates in Ashes of Creation? Drop a comment down below, and if you're new to Ashes and yet to create an account, feel free to use my referral link in the description below where you can jump in on the forums, grab some cosmetics, or just hang out until Ashes is ready to play. Otherwise, be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.